Hello and welcome, Janet Beckers here. It's great to welcome you to Romance Your Tribe Radio. And this week's episode is one that is short, sweet, but so, so powerful. We're going to be talking about the abundance paradox. What is the abundance paradox? In what circumstances will it arise and challenge you in your business? And in what circumstances can it destroy your business? And in which ones can it make your business absolutely flourish? And then what can you do to ensure it is the latter that you have? And we're also going to talk a little bit about Italian restaurants and love songs. Okay, so let's get going. So why am I talking to you about this today? Well, it came about from a message that was put into the private Facebook group for my for students in my program of the Attract Your Tribe coaching program, my flagship program. I'll tell you a bit about that in a moment. Um, but for now, I want to talk to you about this discussion that came up in the group. Now, one of our members um, is put into the group saying, Janet, I am so incredibly grateful for the video that you put in the module that is called the sweet spot. I'm so pleased that you put that lesson in there about the abundance paradox because I was faced with that exact same thing today as I was doing the exercises in that module. And previously, it would have crushed me. It would have been the thing that made me stop. But because I understand this now, I feel quite confident. I mean, that is huge. So huge to know that something that could have stopped you completely in your tracks before and undermined your confidence is now something that you go, oh, that's okay. That's what I can expect. So that's why I really wanted to talk to you about it today because it is so incredibly important that it can make you keep on going. Now, the reason why I included that lesson in that module in the program is because after I've been helping people to be able to build their businesses online, to really step up and be seen as the go-to person rather than just everybody else. Um, and I know the exact steps you need to follow because I've, I've tested it enough times. But I also know that there are certain mindset, cha mindset challenges that are going to come up at every single step like clockwork and so because I know those are coming up in every single one of those modules there is a lesson that I call a love note and it is here is a mindset issue that I bet you've got right now and here's what you can do about it so that's why she had that particular lesson that was in that module because I knew it was going to come up for anybody that is doing that. So it was um, it was important to have that in there. So that's the background about why I'm discussing that with you today. So what is the abundance paradox? The abundance paradox will come around probably every time you go on Facebook, every time you open up your emails, and it is certainly going to happen when you're going through the stages of building up the foundations of your brand and really getting super duper clear on what makes you unique in the market and what is going to be in your, your packages, what are gonna be your offers. So that's a lot of different touch points, isn't it, where you're going to be coming up with the abundance paradox. So the abundance paradox will come up when you go, you know what, every time I open up an email or I go on Facebook, I can see the people who are my competitors. I can see the people who are in my industry. And I might look at a post that they've done or a video. I might open up my emails and I may see a story or a blog post or an offer, a program. And I look at what they're doing and I go, they've just nailed it, honestly. They are doing such a great job. They really, really are. How on earth can I can possibly compete with that? Look at them. They just, they've got it. You know, where is there possibly room for me here as well? Has that ever happened to you? I bet it has. <laughs> it happens to me. It happens to everybody. Because there are going to be so many people out there 
who are serving the same set of clients who can get similar results for them. And there's going to be people out there doing an absolutely brilliant job. There's also going to be a lot of people doing a pretty crappy job, but they're good at marketing themselves. But there's going to be a lot of people out there that are doing great work. So there's going to be here now where you're going to be, there's, you've got two options that's going to come up. The first one, and this was the one that our member in, in the Attract Your Tribe group was saying, she came across somebody who, um, you know, had really started building up their online brand later than her. So she would be thinking, well, I've been doing this for longer. But she, when she was doing her market research to get ideas of what else is out there, what else are my clients going to be looking at, and what are the ideas that I can go, oh, that's good, or oh, I can take that idea, or oh, not doing that. So doing that research, she came across this woman and found, wow, you know, she's doing an amazing job. She's doing what I'm aiming to do, and she's already doing it. So it is very, very easy for you at this stage to go, why bother? Somebody else has got it. I'm not, you know, there's no room for me. I can't stand out. So I'm going to stop. I'm going to look around and find something completely different. Or I'm not even going to bother going in this area because what is the use? So that is one of the options that you can choose. That, you know what, I'm going to stop. And very, very often this happens. It could, it might, you might change your mind and try again later. But you've lost all of that time. You've had to wait until your confidence has come up and you've thought, maybe I should give it a go. So there is that abundance. It is the reality that there are always going to be competitors, always people doing a great job. Now, where is the paradox here? Because if there are so many people doing fantastic work, there's already so many people out there that your clients could be going to. Where is the room for you? Where is the paradox here? And this is where it fits in, is if you were to go and you couldn't find anybody that was doing what you are doing, that nobody, there was nobody else doing what you are aiming, what your vision is to build. If you couldn't find anybody that was doing that, there is a very, very good chance that there's just not a market there or the market is so incredibly small that the, the number of competitors there is really, really small. It can actually be a red flag. So if you're going into a niche where there are a lot of competitors, a lot of people playing in that area, that can actually be the paradox of the abundance, that that indicates that it is a robust market, that there are opportunities there, that there is a demand. So the next thing that comes out is, okay, if there are a lot of competitors, if there is a lot of demand, well, how do I stand out? You know, if it means that this is actually a good marketplace, well, how do I stand out amongst all of that crowd of people? So let's talk about that. And this is where we're going to get to talk about Italian restaurants and we're going to talk about love songs. So first of all, let's talk about love songs. How many love songs, so I want you to think, how many songs that have been at the in the top 10, or even the top one, number one in your country, how many over the last year, the number one every week, how many of those are love songs? I want you to really, really think about this. Go back, have a look. I bet that there are at least half of those songs who are number one are love songs. Probably 60%, 70% are love songs. If you're in the Spanish speaking market, how many songs have got Corazon written, you know, there in the lyrics? It's just, you know, it is such an integral part of our music. So if their love songs are so important, if they are number one, that's sort of like an indication of you know, there is a crowded market space and yet love songs continue to be number one. So my question to you is there is always room for another love song. So what is your love song going to be? What are you going to do to stand out to be another beautiful love song? The 
let's look at a different analogy and this is the Italian restaurant one how many times have you gone out to an Italian restaurant or if you've got a different cuisine that you love like Indian Thai whatever it is your favorite let's just go with Italian for the moment so how many Italian restaurants are there in your city how many of those have you been to and I bet when you go there you already know the majority of things that are going to be on the menu even if you've never been there it's not as if there is only ever one Italian restaurant and only one Italian restaurant that sells lasagna or risotto for example if there is such a huge demand for it that there are a lot but you know what you might have your favorite you might have your favorite Italian restaurant and somebody else loves another one they like the way that they do it they like the vibe that is there so even though there is a huge demand for Italian restaurants there are a lot of Italian restaurants people will still be looking for the next great one and they will certain people will choose different ones the same with love songs people love a good love song but certain people are going to love this one and other ones are going to love that one so I hope that's given you an idea of this is the abundance paradox so my question to you is there is always room for another love song what is your love song going to be so now let's look at what do you do to be able to stand out and create your own love song so let's now look at just a couple of the steps that you could put into place to make sure that your rhythm is the one that attracts people I'm having fun with this whole analogy type thing so and this is where steps in the attract your tribe program through my system romance your tribe which is around relationships those step-by-step -step work so let's have a look at a couple of the things that you will need to have in place that really makes you stand out so first of all you've got to get super clear on you know what is it that is unique about you you know what is your vibe what is your story what is your transformational journey that you have been on and what is the transformational journey that you take your clients on so you need to be super clear on that then the next thing you need to do once you've got super clear on your transformational journey and the ones that you take your clients on and how unique you are to being able to go step by step on being able to help them to go from point A to point B in their journey then you have the basis for a system and if you have a basis for a system then you have a basis to create a trademarkable language a trademarkable brand around what you're doing for example romance your tribe attract your tribe is my trademarkable system on the way that I help people to get from point A to point B so if you have that in place once you're starting to be able to really communicate then quite well your uniqueness and who you help and communicating the way that you do that through your own languaging and your own systems that, that alone makes you stand out let alone even worrying about how you're going to do that online you know that sort of stuff then becomes easy because you've already got that point of difference then putting all of those things into place that go on your website or that you use on social media or the way that you sell to your clients is really just simple fill in the spaces but if you have got clarity on the profit in you and your uniqueness the absolute steps that you can take your clients through and then creating your own language your own systems around that that is so powerful really really powerful and I can tell you if you know that you can say to somebody oh look if that's your problem I can help you you've got a system you may not even recognize it yet but you do that is what is going to make you stand out that system is the beat to your love song oh I just got romance love and music all in the one analogy I'm loving this <laughs> so that is my challenge to you you are going to be facing the abundance paradox continually 
You need to be able to have a way to remind yourself that, you know what, I have a love song. And to stand out, these are the very core foundations that you need to have in place to be able to do that. So that you can create a beat that attracts those perfect clients to you. Now, if you want some help doing that, this, this is my specialty. This is what I love helping people to do. And my systems can help you to do that. So if you'd like to know, please just drop me a message, okay? And I can tell you the best way that I can help you. Um, I can do that through my uh, a suite of programs of the Attractor Tribe. So depending on what level of um, acceleration that you want to be able to move through that, um, I have different ways to help you. So... Um, and there'll be links down below where you can go and get some free training and you can see some of the programs that I've got. Um, but so that you know that the abundance paradox is here to stay. So you're the person that can t be making it so that it's going to grow your business rather than letting it destroy your business and your confidence and stopping you, which it will be doing with the majority of people out there. Okay, I'm really looking forward to hearing from you. Does this make sense? Do you have a love song? Um, if this is something that you know is going to help any of your friends, your colleagues in business, please just share this with them um, because I really do want to see as many people get out there and make the difference that they are meant to be making and having that confidence to step up. Okay, bye.